and it'll let us know. Okay, and we're live. Yay, good morning, beautiful people. Welcome into our sacred space this morning. Holiday greetings, happy Hanukkah. Tonight is the last night, uh, the last candle in the menorah. Let me think, yes, I'm looking, thinking of my menorah downstairs. <laughs> it's the last candle, Merry Christmas day. This is the season of lights. I love this season. Um, you know, isn't it fitting that uh, the darkest days and birth, the season of lights, and I always find that profound to, to really sink into. I've got my phone here where I'm going to find you on our Facebook page, Brentwood Inspired Living Center. I'm going to scroll down here and find our live feed, and then that's where I will see you tuning in with us. And so when you get here, leave me a comment or let me know you're here somehow. There we go. Sometimes it takes a minute as you are accustomed to my phone being a little slow some days. <laughs> Good morning, Jenny. When you get here, let us know that you're here with a comment and that way we can see you. Sometimes I can see you logging in. Occasionally it will show me your name, but not always. So uh, so it's nice to know when you get here. Welcome in, Yvette. Welcome in, beloveds. We're so grateful to be together this Christmas morning. Um, such a beautiful time. It is cold here in Greenville, South Carolina. We've had 13 degrees, freezing temperatures. It's, this area is not really used to this cold, and so people have frozen pipes, and <laughs> there's a Facebook group for my neighborhood and everybody says, does every, anybody else out of heat? Anybody else have hot water? I left it trickling. So I had hot water. <laughs> oh, good morning, Jenny. She says joy to the world. Yes, indeed. Nancy's here. She says happy blessed Christmas morning. So wonderful to see you all. Thank you, Nancy. It's so beautiful to see you. Good morning, beloved, says Yvette. Nice to see you, Yvette. Thank you for tuning in with us this morning. I am so very grateful to be here for another glorious Sunday to share this time together and this Christmas, glorious Christmas Sunday morning. My name is Amy Van Ling and I am gratefully, joyfully the spiritual director of this exceptional community uh, we call Brentwood Inspired Living Center where we welcome people of all faiths, all spiritual walks, all all, everybody, everybody is welcome here. Our purpose is to be a safe environment for every single person to explore their, their path, their path in life. And um, here we embrace ancient traditions, as well as notice all the emerging wisdom around us. So Merry, happy, blessed Christmas day. Jan is here. She says, Merry Christmas, my friends. What a perfect way to begin our Christmas morning 2022. Yes. Good morning, Jennifer. Welcome in. When you get here, leave us a comment so we know that you're joining in with us. We'd love to see your name um, in the feed here. Welcome in. So Christmas. Hi, Dennis. Welcome. I'm glad your Facebook is working again. <laughs> all the technology glitches we all seem to face at one time or another. <laughs> uh, good morning, Christmas. So I always like to remind myself and think that Christ derives from the Greek word Christos, meaning anointed one or chosen one. So on Christmas Day, uh, feeling into that Christ is, is a state of being, a state of mind and awareness. And so Ad Advent was our preparation, bringing you know, heaven to earth this day when we uh, transcend the content of this world and illuminate by embodying the Christos essence on this Christmas day. Good morning, Verona. Welcome in, beloved. She says, good Christ mourn, beloveds. Yes, yes, I was just feeling into that. Florence is here. She says, good and happy Christmas day. It is indeed such a, ser such serenity I I'm feeling this morning. So welcome into our sacred place, our sacred space and consciousness. Um, where today we are, we are um, remembering the Christ story of birthing our inner light, the Christ consciousness, um, your radiance, so that you can share 
um, the joy, bring the joy to the world. Our theme for December has been the sacred yes. So culminating here on this Christmas day, uh, which centers on the message of birthing into a more expanded awareness as Jesus taught to embody our true holy identity, to step into alignment with the frequency of love and peace and power and beauty. So that glorious, glorious, yes, this, this Christmas day, Jennifer's here. She says, Merry glorious Christmas, everyone. Verona says, so excited to hear God, Michael, this day watching in my PJs. <laughs> I love that. I love that, especially on a cold day when you can just stay home and be warm. I like that feeling when you can just snuggle, snuggle in. <laughs> Pat is here. Pat says, hello all. I, on this wonderful holiday morning, I can only be here until 1030 because I have to take Byron to urgent care to get some plaques void for COVID. It's a mild case. We have to postpone our family celebration, going with the flow, all in divine order, divine timing, love and light. Pat, <laughs> well, sending you lots of blessings and, and healing thoughts for Byron and get through that COVID quickly, smoothly, easily. <laughs> Welcome in beloved souls. Welcome into our sacred place this morning, Christmas day. I am thrilled to be um, saying yes here this holy morning with Michael J. Allen, Beverly B., Paris Winter. We welcome you in with warm, loving embrace. Michael J. Allen, our beloved friend, our beloved, is bringing us the morning message today. What a sacred day to bring us the message of you are sacred. <laughs> a perfect message from this divine divine being, this, this spark from the cosmos there. You see his beautiful colors and radiance shining for us. Thank you, Michael J. Allen, for being with us and giving us your sacred yes today to share your heart and soul with us. We're grateful. And Beverly B is back from the island of Oahu. And she's got a little rooster we might hear in the backyard uh, singing to us this morning. And we're so grateful to have you back with us, Beverly. You're just such a blessing to us. Um, she's here sharing her sound healing, which whew, when she's when it's her turn, just bask in it because it is, it is so the, the vibration is so high and so healing and, and it's for you. So receive. Thank you, Beverly, for being here and sharing you with us today. I'm so grateful. We have our very own Paris Winter here, beautiful light. Uh, she is sharing our selected inspirational reading and our abundance blessing this morning. Thank you, precious Paris, for being here. Thank you, all three of you, for saying yes to this Christmas morning. Uh, to showing up to share the love and bring the joy to the world. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. We all warmly welcome you in. We're so glad that you found us. If you're tuning in with us for the very first time, we want you to know how truly grateful we are that you're here, that you found us. We welcome you in. Please reach out to us. Uh, jump into any of our Zoom groups during the week. You're welcome everywhere um, in all of our groups. So thank you. Thank you for being here, everybody. Welcome in, beloveds. When you get here, let us know that you're here with a comment in the feed. That way I can see your name and maybe your profile picture if you have a beautiful picture there. Um, Pat says, we'll be looking forward to hearing on the recording. Okay, yes. It's nice that we have the recordings. I <clears throat> get messages from people during the week quite often uh, who are watching it later. So remember that it's available on Facebook, just on our Facebook page, it stays on there, the recording. We also have it on YouTube and we have it on our website when you go to the archives page and you can find all of our talks from way back. So if you ever want to start from the very beginning, you'd be there for quite a long time. There's a lot of amazing talks there to <laughs> listen to. Uh, Robert's here. He says, hello, Michael. Welcome, Robert. So grateful that you're here with us. Wonderful, everybody. If you've been with Brentwood Inspired Living Center for years, um, decades, months, minutes, we love you. We welcome you. We want you to know that you are accepted and loved and we see you. We see you. So come on in. Okay, beloveds. Um, thank you for tuning in and tuning within this Christmas morning. We're going to open up with our mission statement. So I invite you to 
feel into that inner light, feel into that awareness, that expanded awareness, that Christ consciousness that is always within, within, without, everywhere, embracing you. We're going to open up with our mission statement. So allow yourself to drop into your heart and feel into who we are and what we're doing here, what we're about. We are an open, heart-centered spiritual community, honoring the one presence within us. We welcome all to connect, grow, and expand in wisdom, compassion, and love. And we're so grateful to be on this journey together with you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm going to hand the screen over to Beverly for our first song this morning. This is our opening song, our community song to get all of the energy flowing and open your heart chakra. So feel into this. Beautiful, Beverly. Thank you so much. I'd like to remind everybody that Beverly is all about this spontaneous divine download. So everything you hear from Beverly is is in the moment, is new in the moment <laughs> from God. <laughs> so thank you, Beverly, for, You're for being you, for listening, for allowing that to flow through you, because it's always so beautiful. And I love that. Um, what is it? Is it called a hand pan? Is it? Tongue drum. Tongue drum. Yeah. I love yeah, that. Like sound. a tongue, tongue drum. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to hand the screen over to Paris now for our inspirational reading this morning. Thank you, Paris. Well, good morning. It's my pleasure to wish you a very Merry Christmas, my beloved friends. Um, our theme for this month is the sacred yes. Here is an excerpt from Louise Hayes and Robert Holden's book, Life Loves You, and it's titled The Sacred Yes, A Powerful Catalyst for Change. Robert starts by explaining that as Louise and he were beginning to work on the book, Life Loves You, he was asked to write a foreword for another book and he felt the need to say no. However, somehow he ended up saying yes. <laughs> he describes it as a truthful yes, or what he calls his quote, big yes with a capital Y. He continues, another name for this yes is my sacred yes. I sense this, I sense this yes in my belly, a gut instinct. I feel it in my heart. I hear, hear it in my head. And when it shows up, I feel I have almost no choice whether to follow it. This is the yes that simply feels true. To go against it would be inauthentic. All I've ever done is listen to my inner tug and said yes. Louise tells as she reflects on her own career as a writer and teacher, I never meant to write a book. My first book, The Little Blue Book, Heal Your Body, was just a list I compiled. Someone suggested I make it into a book and I said yes. 
I had no idea how to publish a book, but helping hands appeared along the way. It was an adventure. Saying yes is an act of faith. Sometimes we don't know why we say yes. We don't have the full picture, and sometimes we can't even see the next step. It's only after we say yes that the next step appears, and it's only after we say yes that we realize there is help along the way. Saying yes is a journey, not a goal. And you say yes, not because you're trying to get somewhere, but because it's what's in front of you. Saying yes is being present in your life. When I was 18 years old, I received two letters in the mail on the, the same day. I had to choose between a three-year pro program in Birmingham and a one-year postgraduate course in journalism. Everything in my body, my heart, and my head said yes to Birmingham. This is where I met Avante Kumar, my first mentor, and this is where I began my spiritual path. I've often wondered how my life would have unfolded if I hadn't followed my yes to Birmingham. I asked Louise about this once and she said, your yes will always find you wherever you are. To me, Louise is saying that following your yes isn't about getting somewhere and it isn't about making the right decisions. It's about being present. It's about being authentic. It's about being willing to be led and it's about looking in the mirror and liking what you see. That is the journey. I love that, that your sacred yes will always find you. You don't have to go trying and searching and prying and prodding. Mm, that's sweet. Thank you, Paris. We appreciate you. Okay, I'm going to hand the screen back over to Beverly now for our next divine download.
<laughs> I sometimes forget you guys are here. I have to remind myself to come back, come back, come back. <laughs> there are people here with you. <laughs> we have to move on. Well, I, I fall into it with you. It's beautiful. Thank you, Beverly. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to hand the screen back over to Paris for our prayer of plentitude this morning. Thank you, Paris. Well, good morning again. Um, I invite you to join me now for our prayer of plentitude as we welcome and receive the glorious abundance today and every day. Take a deep breath, breathing in love and light and hold it gently. Now release it slowly as you connect through your heart with our message of prosperity. We come together today, opening our hearts and minds to the one spirit, the light, infinite mind, knowing that there is only one power and one life, and that is the life of spirit. We affirm that we are one with spirit, and there is no one and nothing that is separate from this oneness. We are one with that infinite mind, which has created all that is. We know that the divine qualities of peace, of power, of plenty, of wisdom are already within each of us and we embrace those qualities now. We step forward with love and anticipation, standing in the truth of who and what we are and saying yes to our prosperity, harmony, health, order, love and our amazing expansion in all its forms. And with the greatest gratitude, we accept this transformation of consciousness for ourselves and our community. We know that it is done and we give thanks. And now we release and we let go and we let spirit do its perfect work through us. We trust that the universe will provide for us. It is done and it is, and so it is. And we also have just a few important annou announcements as we head into the new year. Uh, you can start off the new year by joining Brentwood Inspired Liv Living Family in person on the first Sunday of every month at the Antioch Community Center. Our beloved Re Reverend B Verona Garland will be there with us to usher in 2023 and January 1st. Then after the service, join Reverend Verona and others for our burning bowl ceremony. And that's from 11.30 to one. Snacks will be available before the workshop and you will have time to honor and release what you no longer need and call your heart's desire in for the new year. In 2023, know that we will be together in person the first Sunday of every month. All other Sundays each month, we will connect with, you, with our speaker and our spiritual family on Facebook Live. And the in-person service will always be taped and available on our website the next day. And continuing on the third Saturday of each month, we will have our community circle beginning at 11 with music by the 360 band from noon to 1.30 uh, in either the West Island room when weather permits, we also have it at Veterans Park in Brentwood. We look forward to seeing you there at both venues. And the book clubs and men's group are continuing in 2023. Jan will be starting a new group on Tuesdays, a book group uh, from 1.30 to 3, beginning Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. The book selection is our old favorite. We are revisiting Ask and It Is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teachings of Abraham. You may purchase that for $9.89 on Amazon and it's also available on free audio on YouTube. So please join us on January 3rd, even if you do not have your book yet. And we're offering uh, blessings and gratitude to all. Thank you, dear beloved Paris for all those announcements. Appreciate you. Okay, Beverly, I'm going to hand the screen back over to you for our, 
our last song this morning. All right. I have my drumsticks back in my hands. <laughs> I guess we're going to play these things. Well, I was just fading off there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Beverly, so much for being with us this morning. And Paris, thank you for being here. Thank you both for activating this space with love and joy and your beautiful presence. We're so grateful for you and so thankful that you were here. I appreciate you both so much. Merry Christmas. I will Merry see Christmas. you on the Facebook side of everything. Blessings, right. everybody. Peace and blessings to you well, all. Peace and blessings, Beverly. I'm here with Michael J. Allen. I like to call him the Prince of Peace. So his background today reminded me of a of something that Michael Beckwith had said once. And so I had to pull it up to make sure I was going to say it just exactly right. He said, you're an elegant royal being. You're shot from eternity. Walk like it. Talk like it. Shine like it. Doesn't the background there just say all that? <laughs> Thank you for being that elegant royal being shot from eternity, Michael J. Allen. We're so grateful for you. I love you dearly. For those of you who are just getting to know Michael J. Allen, I'm going to read you his bio. Michael is an inspirational speaker, life coach, and development consultant, and Agape licensed practitioner. He has worked in social service environments, middle and high schools, and with incarcerated men, women, and juvenile teens. He is also the founder of the One Foot Journey Coaching. The focus of the work is to become a master of the keys of emotional intelligence that support universal principle and law. These keys allow you to discover who you truly are from the inside out and discover what is yours to do here which means this work applies to all human beings and the work is not new work and it's yours to do if you choose. Michael's vision for his life is to be a loving presence for the evolution of humanity. And this he does in so many, so many ways that are always evolving too. He has such beautiful creations he, um, he brings into his life. It's amazing. Thank you. I'm going to pray us in and hand the screen over for our message this morning. You are sacred. I invite you just to tune into this holy moment. It's a holy moment, maybe with an in-breath of the spirit, feeling, feeling joy, feeling into the joy, feeling love and peace that is 
right here, right now, all the time. Exhaling anything that is something you want to let go that is not serving your highest and best. Tuning into that Christ essence, that gentleness in our souls, that place and space where we experience joy. We're so grateful for this moment that we get to create together this sacred space, gather as one, consciously choosing to remember that our true identity is perfect, holy, complete. I evoke divine guidance and ask for an activation of conscious awareness and divine light. We are so deeply grateful for Michael J. Allen, for his presence here with us, for his essence, for his sacred yes. We cover him now with our blessings and our gratitude, our hearts and minds opened to this message of divine truth that moves in through and as Michael J. Allen. I release this word into the great expanse of infinite possibility oh, and massive, profound, infinite love. In gratitude, we share the benefits of our love with all because we are one. And so it is. Amen. Thank you, beloved. Good morning. I am absolutely excited. I am filled with joy. I am, I've been, uh, this, this topic has been working on me ever since Amy sent me an email about three weeks ago and said, hey, you're speaking on Christmas day. And I went, oh. And from that point forward, my heart just exploded like this thing you see behind me. Christmas is, has always been a favorite day for me, but not because of what you get. It's been a favorite day for me because of how you feel. And I'll never forget one of the most amazing Christmases I ever had was when I was probably four or five years old, my dad, he uh, he had this really thick book, and it was a like a children's Bible, and it was about uh, stories of, uh, from the Bible. And he read a story to us uh, Christmas morning when I was young, and that story stayed with me. Not the story, the story that my dad sat down and created this sacred moment of telling us a story from the Bible. That was sacred to me. That is probably one of the most sacred moments of my life and probably my most favorite Christmas because I was given something that landed in my heart. I was given something that landed in my, in my soul, in my being. It wasn't a thing that was going to be broken in about three months. It was something that was going to fulfill my heart with joy and excitement and curiosity. And it did. It really, really did. I've been extremely curious about this this consciousness called Christ. It has been my lifesaver, a sacred moment in my life. I'm eight years old and I'm feeling kind of lost and sad, but I'm talking to Jesus. And I said, Jesus, I don't know what to do with my life. I don't know what to do next. My family was uh, really challenged with a divorce and we were all broken apart and the separation was painful when before the divorce, we were all connected as brothers and sisters in a family. So that was a sacred moment. The moment that my parents announced their divorce to us. My father gave me three instructions. He said, Michael J, you're the man of the house. Don't hit women and do as you're told. And for years in my life, those instructions were the most painful thing I ever heard. They were the most confusing and awful things I'd ever heard. 
because at that point I stopped becoming a, I stopped being a kid and I started becoming what my father said I was. Those were sacred moments. For many years of my life, they were painful moments. They were painful experiences of trying to figure out what did my father mean by man in the house? I'm four years old, five years old. What did that mean? Definitions were not given to me. Those were sacred moments. When me and my brother split up because of the lack of connection and love in our family and no communication, those were sacred moments. Those were the moments that I endured most of my life to become truly sacred with the way life goes. Life is not always a party, a celebration. Sometimes it's a sacred moment where wisdom comes through that experience, a wisdom that you have been crying for, longing for, wanting so much in your life, that wisdom arrives. And now it's time to embrace it as a sacred thing to help you evolve as a spiritual being, as a human being. You are sacred. If you look back at the past, and I don't mean the past, I mean the experiences that are still programmed in your personality, your being, your body, that still drive your attitude, that still drive your moods. Have you learned from them? Have you sought the wisdom from those sacred things? Because that's what makes life sacred, is when we can find the wisdom in that which is being taught to us about our personality, our being, our body, our relationships, you name it. That's sacred. And for many, many of us, before we get to sacred, we go through deep tears and we go through rejection and we go through depression we go through a lack of connection and we go through a lack of love and we go through what's wrong with me. I mean, the sacred moment is right here in front of us and we're in despair. That's a sacred moment. Every time I've overcome the despair in my emotions, the despair in my feelings, the despair in my thoughts and my experiences with other people, every time I've overcome them, what has helped me overcome them or revise them or transform them is my commitment to love. I don't know anything greater than the sacred presence of love. I don't know anything better than looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, you're the best, I love you. Keep going. When someone says they love you and you know it's sincere, do you let it drop into your heart as a sacred moment of someone seeing you, hearing you, touching you, and embracing you? Or do you doubt? It's a sacred moment. And my experience with my sacred moments is extremely consistent because every time I recognize that there's wisdom and that it's sacred. What I recognize is that I'm learning something about me. I'm learning something about humanity. I'm learning something about how to be in the world, how to express in the world, how to relate to the world, how to embrace the world, how to embrace humanity. Every moment in our life is sacred. It's not a conflict. It's an experience that teaches us to become more of who we truly are. It's sacred. Of course, on the journey, you must be curious. You must be open. You must be willing. You must be surrendering and you must be forgiving. That's when you're moving on the journey, when you're allowing yourself to be these adjectives and to be these verbs of transformation, you're moving on the journey. sacred moment in my life. I'm 19 years old and my best friend, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm 19 years old and my best friend and I decide to 
get an apartment together and we're going to college, Cal State Northridge. And everything went great. Uh, we got a great apartment and he's an engineering major and I was a psych major and we moved in together and everything was going great. September, October, November, and then December came. And it was a very emotionally challenged month for, for all of us. You know, the holidays come and things sometimes get challenging. Being away from family, that could be challenging. And it was. My best friend was really, really, really concerned about supporting and, and taking care of the safety of his family, his mom and his two little sisters. And he moved out after five months and uh, four months and moved in with his mom. Unfortunately, he lost his life in a, in a, in a shooting. And um, I was devastated for years. I, I just devastated. Here's a person in my life who loves me, supports me, laughs with me, plays with me, never puts me down, never judges me, never teases me, always there with me and willing to do anything to be my friend. So when that person lost his life, it became a sacred moment for me. Because it told me so much about life. It told me that giving you feel when you're alive. And I got to continue to receive what he gave me. He gave me the passion to go to college. He gave me the passion to complete my education. He gave me the passion to do the best I could. So his passing has been filled with sacred wisdom, sacred love, and sacred understanding. You're sacred because you and I have the power to turn anything that is a low vibration into something that is extremely high and a loving and a powerful vibration. We have the power to do that. We have the power because we are sacred beings. We have the power to speak our word. Another sacred moment in my life that I'll share with you. Oh, about a week ago, my uh, sister let me know that my uh, great niece was in the hospital and I had just seen her for Thanksgiving. And uh, it was really devastating inside of me to recognize that this was a, a poor young baby that was in real, real trouble. So I reached out and asked many people to pray. Every prayer that was prayed was a sacred moment. Every person that responded to pray, it was a sacred moment. And I learned something from this experience. I learned that once you ask for prayer, you've asked for the highest experience of God to be within you. And the prayers that came and the people who responded. So sacred. Humanity, we have so many sacred things that we share. So many sacred things that bring us joy. So many sacred things that bring us triumph. And so many sacred things that bring us love and connection. And I invite you to magnify those sacred moments. To spend time with those you love, not money. To spend love, love thoughts and love experiences on people that you appreciate, you love and you're grateful for. Those are sacred moments. You create those sacred moments. I'm so filled with joy today because I look at all the times in my life that because of this work I do, as a practitioner and all this work I've done with agape. Love and good just reveals. It just shows itself. It comes into my body, it comes into my mind, it comes into my heart, it comes into my experience. Because of the meditation, because of the prayers, because of the connection between people and the acceptance of unconditional love. And because of the desires to live in a frequency 
of sacredness because we all come from one divine intelligence. That's exciting. It's very exciting to know that we are powerful beings and we can do the simplest things and change our states, change our minds, change our feelings, change our thoughts, change our emotions. We have incredible power. And that power is in our heart. So I want you to take a moment with me and just look into that screen and look at these beautiful colors on my screen and look at the beautiful people on the screen. And with your eyes open, ever so gently and ever so deeply, breathe into your heart. That's where the Christ consciousness is. The Christ consciousness is an unconditional love. And if we all consciously take the time to consciously breathe deeply and slowly into our heart space. And let the power, the magnetic power of our heart take over our mind. We are living in intelligence. I don't wanna just live in love. I want sacred moments of using my intelligence to be more loving. I want to use my intelligence and my breath to be more giving, more caring, more sharing, more supportive, more accepting of humanity. Breathe into your heart. That's where love is. It's in the center of you. It's in the center of me. It's in the center of everything we do in life. We are in a sacred experience called life. sacred moments that can magnify our frequencies are absolutely turning up the gauge on forgiveness. To let go of the frequency and the energy that holds you back and to free it so that love can push you forward, pull you forward, pull you forward. Sacred moments. Every time you say I'm sorry to yourself, every time you take responsibility for how you didn't allow yourself to be loved, forgive yourself for everything you call wrong. Let that go and create a sacred moment of accepting. Mistakes are here for growth and development. They're not here for hurting judging and criticizing people. Isn't it sacred when a child reaches for you because they want your love? Notice all those times a child reached for you and you gave that child love. Notice all the times that someone in your life needed a hug and you gave them that hug. Those are sacred moments. These are all moments where God gets to see itself. God gets to be itself. God gets to share itself. God gets to embrace itself. See, you and me are God. And every time I look in your eyes and say, I love you, I'm talking to God. Every time I reach out for a sacred hug and you hold on to me, I'm holding on to God. There is no such thing as separation. Another sacred moment in my life. When I graduated from college, I was really, really clear that I did not want to be a therapist. I didn't want to be a psychologist. I just wanted to study psychology. And I did. And I've done a lot of therapeutic things in a lot of different environments with a lot of different people, a lot of different ages and cultures. And I'm grateful for that. And when I graduated from college, it was a sacred moment for
for me to understand, am I going to flow with the intelligence of life or flow with the challenges of humanity? In other words, now I'm out of college and I gotta make money. I gotta create something I want for myself to give to humanity. That was my goal. And I didn't think it was in psychology. I still don't think it's in psychology. I think it's in the work that I'm creating for myself and for others. And it comes from the journey. And so many sacred things I want to acknowledge on my life journey. It's sacred that I traveled a lot. And in that traveling, I wasn't with a lot of people, a lot of kids growing up. There are nieces and nephews that I did not uh, watch grow up. And for a long time, I had my guilt and frustration about that. But in the last few months, what I realized is that the spirit of the living God has created you and I as a unique idea in the mind, you, a unique idea in the universe. And we have everything instilled within us to create whatever we want to create in life. More love, more joy, more peace, you name it. More friends, more, uh, more abundance, more prosperity. We can, we can do all that. And I'm really proud of that and I'm excited about that. And it's sacred that we have this incredible power to create. But I want to take it to another level. I want to challenge and invite humanity to one, take it within yourself to recognize all the sacred moments, the bitter with the sweet, the good with the bad, the up with the down, and to see them all as opportunities to grow, evolve, and become who you are. Number two, bless everything. Bless everything. Don't make it good, bad, right, or wrong. Bless it. Because within every experience in our life, there is a divine wisdom that is yearning to teach us how to become better, more, or greater than we are in the moment, or acknowledge that we are great in the moment. And a third thing. Eliminate the idea of enemies. Eliminate the idea that you're an enemy to yourself and that you're an enemy to someone who is different than you. There are so many more things on this planet that we as human beings share to have an enemy because they're different than you or they don't think the way you do or feel the way you do. It's just not intelligent. Not good or bad, right or wrong, it's just not intelligent. And if you look at the incredible thing called life, when you look at the harmony and order and balance of the universe and how this planet and the energy of the sun and the magnetic pull of the, of the sun and the rotation and the tilting and turning, that's happening right now. That's happening right now. Something absolutely amazing in the universe is happening right now. We're always in a sacred moment. We're always in a sacred moment. This planet is not colliding with another planet. It's in harmony and order and balance. And it brings us different experiences throughout a 24 hour period. That's sacred. That's sacred. I love this planet. I love this thing called life. It's all sacred. You are sacred. So keep breathing into your heart. Keep breathing into that place in you that knows that you are magnificent, that you are amazing, that you are the experience of a unique idea, that there is no other living experience on the planet like you. There are similarities, but you are a unique idea. 
I want to be grateful for several things. I want to be grateful to me because I worked my life hard, hard, hard to be focused on love. I've worked very hard to embrace the presence of gratitude. I've worked very hard to let go of the idea of, of even having an enemy in my consciousness. I've worked very hard to surrender, to let go, and I continue to do so. There is no destination. There is no end to the journey. It will evolve into another dimension that I will be excited about upon then. But right now, I'm so proud to be able to say to humanity on this day, I love you. I love you. I appreciate everything you've ever done as a human being on this planet. It's sacred. In some way, you learned something absolutely magnificent and became wise as a result of it. Or you created something that made magnificence for others. We live and grow and have our being in love. We live and grow and have our hearts absolutely governed by intelligence. We live and grow and have our souls always focused on love. Your soul never focuses on anything other than love. You are sacred. You are a sacred being. You are a loving being. You are a conscious being. You are sacred. Just want you guys to know I'm talking to myself. I, I hope somebody heard that or was listening. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for being on this planet. Thank you all for having a willingness to open your heart, to filter things into your heart, to breathe in God's presence, to pray and pray and pray and pray. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. <clears throat> wow. Oh, well, thank you, beloved. Good stuff. Thanks for the reminders. I jotted some things down. <laughs> if you have a question for Michael, a comment, a thought you'd like to share, a blessing you'd like to share, anything, drop it in the feed here and um, and we'll we'll get to it. Yvette says, let me go back to some of the comments here. Paris said, I am sacred, love it, embrace our inner divinity. Jan said, um, oh, that was about the sacred, yes. Yvette said, seeing spirit's light emanating from you in the now is a sacred moment for me, yes. I love and honor how Michael is so willing to share his sacred vulnerability with us. Mm. Indeed. Event says, I am a unique idea in the mind of God. Yes. Robert says, I hear you. Verona says, love you, sacred Michael. Dennis said, thank you. Paris says, Michael J. Allen, thank you for sharing your heart so openly with us today. Hmm. Jenny says, thank you, thank you, thank you, Michael, for sharing your heart wisdom with us today. You are a blessing to the world. Yes, yes, this is also truth. So yesterday mm -hmm. I went into the market and I was walking to the front door and there was a gentleman and a, and a lady uh, who were about to meet at the door. And I gestured for this man to go forward and uh, to get a basket. And he gestured that I do that. So I, I went and got a basket but I first gave him a basket and then I took mm. a basket. And this guy stopped and he looked at me and he says, why don't people do that? Why don't people just live like this? Mm. You know, and he was, he was 
kind of passionate, you know. <laughs> I basically said to him, I says, we just forget how intelligent we are. That's all. Mm. And he said, he looks at me and he stares at me and he says, can I quote you? I says, yeah, it's the truth. If we all chose intelligence, this world would be different. That was such a great moment. Mm -hmm. The guy saw me two other times in the store and he was like, have a great day, man. I'm so glad I saw you. Reach yeah. out to humanity, show it. Show it compassion, show it some love, simple stuff. That was yeah. a great day. I mean, that, I, that was with me all day. Yeah, because it was a, well, first of all, it was a sacred yes on your part yeah. to to listen, to, to be in your heart space. Cause more, when we're in the present moment, we're in that heart space. That is what comes natural. It comes natural to give the basket to him first, right. Or, or share, you know, it's, oops, sorry, that was loud. Um, it's a natural, it's our natural state. It's all this other stuff that, that <laughs> blocks that. Um, yeah. And we have, like you said, initially we have the power to turn anything from a low vibration to a high vibration, uh, you said our world, our word is sacred. Our actions are sacred. We are sacred. So everything that comes forth is sacred. <laughs> is sacred. Uh, magnify the love. You said. Um, mm, oh, you were talking about spending love thoughts and love experiences, and it it um, reminded me of a story that. Uh, what is the book? It's Oprah writes it with a, somebody and it's uh, what happened to you, I think. And it was about a girl who um, recounts this whole time her mother was dying of cancer and they went, traveled the world, all of these um, experiences. And when Oprah had asked her, like, what was the one thing she remembered? It was none of those big, big things. It was a night when she got a bowl of cereal with her mom in the middle of the night. You know, so it was, it's this reminder of that the sacred yes is sometimes, <laughs> oftentimes, just in that everyday moment of being at the grocery store and connecting with another human being. Yeah. yeah. Having a bowl of cereal with somebody, <laughs> you know, and, um, and tuning in, tuning into that. Uh, Verona says, Thanks for humanity's challenge. I accept, accept no more enemies, only love. <laughs> Thank you, beloved. Um, what I understand as I listened, so I'm not sure who's, oh, it's Jan. Thank you, Jan. Jan says, what I understand as I listen and spend time with you is a huge part of my sacred yes. You are such a blessing in my life all. Oh. She's saying that to you, Michael J. Allen. Hmm. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Sacred yes. What were they? Three opportunities. Treat experiences opportun opportunities for to grow. Two, bless everything. Three, eliminate the idea of enemies. Yeah. And that is we're always in a sacred moment. I like I like how you brought that that around. Is that we're always in a sacred moment. This planet, everything is in this harmonious cycle and this harmonious um exchange and so how can anything be less than a miracle and sacred we're here we're breathing we're together hmm. Paris says Amy I remember that episode of Oprah it was Cheerios in the middle of the night with her mother because neither of them could sleep and they had that private moment together. Yeah. And that was, you know, in the midst of all of these really grand um, experiences, right? But that was the one that she was most sacred to her. Beautiful. It was really profound. Jenny says, rather than intelligence, I would call it thoughtfulness. we're thinking i think of like the emotion and emotional intelligence book is what i <laughs> the concepts that's what i'm thinking of when i hear you say intelligence but we're all hearing yeah our own magnify the love 
Mm. Our word is sacred. Beautiful to remember. Our word is sacred, even in thought. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, for being here with us this sacred Christmas morning as we're We've prepared the room for Christ consciousness to yeah, be thank, you so much. thank you so much for sharing this uh, Sunday morning with me. You know, uh, it's been a celebration for me because uh, I keep looking at the inner work I've done and how it changes me and how I feel. And I just can't wait to share it more of who I am with people to you know, make a difference on this planet. Not, not a shortcut, but a difference. Mm. So thank you all for being here on uh, my Christmas morning. I'm going to go have an amazing walk and uh, uh, just smile at people and just be in the presence uh, for the rest of the day. So I thank you all for joining me. I've been so building up to this moment of just letting this love inside of me be shared with someone who's listening so mm. <laughs> i don't this probably isn't one of michael's best talks but i probably never felt more loving than i've ever felt in my life we on feel you on a christmas with with all of you so mm. thank you thank you all for being here and have a beautiful day thank have you a beautiful way have a beautiful you know just keep smiling inside you know, keep smiling inside. I, I have learned that every time I, uh, every time I stop thinking and I start smiling inside, the thoughts get better. You know, it's just that mm. simple, you know, rather than me have a thought that has some rigidness to it. I just smile inside and go, wow, dude, you want to get caught in something you <laughs> that doesn't feel good. It doesn't make sense. It's not intelligent. Mm -hmm. That's that you're speaking of divine intelligence. Yes, right, it's not intelligence. <laughs> you're speaking of what's divine, divinely intelligent. Um, that says sacred intelligence is the highest form of thoughtfulness. There we go. Affirm, affirm. Oh, beautiful beings. We're grateful to be together. We're grateful for you. Grateful this Christmas day, this holiday season of lights. Festival of Lights. Verona says, such a treat to be here. Mega, thanks. <laughs> so glad you're here, Verona. And you'll be in person with everybody next Sunday. Yay. Mm. What a family. Thank you, family. Kicking off the new year. Uh, mm -hmm. Or dancing off the new year. Dancing off the new year. We, we don't go. have to kick anybody. We could dance them into it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I know some of these some of these sayings we have we have to think right. about our sacred word right, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah come on turn that into something that feels better yeah right <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. beautiful beings of love and light thank you for being with us this morning uh thank you for wrapping up this year this is this is our wrap-up of 2022 wow it's your flu by for me <laughs> oh beautiful sacred, blessings community sacred intelligence is the highest form of thoughtfulness yeah Yvette said that mm -hmm. oh my goodness i'm not i'm, I'm not surprised <laughs> yvette, yvette has di diamond wisdom i, I call it mm -hmm. diamond i feel that i she feel says, that she says things and writes things and you kind of go <laughs> 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 so thank you Yvette I appreciate that mm. I haven't heard anybody say it that way that's great sacred intelligence is the highest form of intelligence yeah all right beloveds we are going to close with our prayer of divine awakening allow these words to penetrate you to be you Affirm for your life. Sharing screen should be up. The prayer of divine awakening. It's a new day, a beautiful day, a new beginning. I embrace this day with new eyes, an open heart, and expansive mind. 
I choose my vibrational frequency deliberately and consciously, consciously harmonizing with life's events. I'm receptive to source energy, divine guidance and wisdom available to me at all times. I commit to serve unconditional love fully and completely. I move forward in a state of appreciation and extension of the one magnificent power and presence. I am sovereign, whole, and free, claiming dominion over my life as I go in peace and awaken to my divinity. And so it is. Blessings, beloveds. Shine on. Bring joy to the world this beautiful Christmas day. Mwah! In person next Sunday with Verona Garland. Thank you, Michael J. Allen. We love you. We appreciate you. We're blessed. So deeply blessed by you. My pleasure. Blessings, everybody. Mwah! Same time, same place. Next week, we're always on Facebook Live. So even when it's in person, we're still on live. <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye. beloveds.